so I've had a few people ask me whether I've lost weight recently and uh, I can honestly say I'm not sure 100% because I don't weigh myself. If I did lose weight, it was a lot. Um, I suspect it was probably water retention more than anything else because I was in Costa Rica where the average temperature is like 35 degrees, it's hot and humid, and I was very active, so I was sweating a lot. And for sure, uh, during that time period, I did um, lose water retention. And, um, you know, I don't weigh myself, so I, don't, I can't gauge it. I refuse to weigh myself. Uh, the only gauge I can go by is how my clo clothes feel when I put them on. And I'd have to say that they do seem to be a little bit looser. Not much, but a little bit. So, yes, I probably have lost anywhere between 10, well, between 5 and 10 pounds. I don't think any more than that. And, you know, the thing is, is I don't bring it up because it's not a big deal to me. I mean, our weight fluctuates throughout the year. It's pretty normal to lose and gain like between five and ten pounds throughout the year. That's healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I don't want to make a big deal of, of it. And I don't want to make on this channel have it focusing on weight loss uh, and be preoccupied with that as, you know, the only reason to follow um, a plant-based diet is to lose weight and be thin and have six-pack abs and all that stuff. It isn't. There's so much more to life than just being thin. And um, actually, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a clip up of a before and after, what I looked like before I was vegan and afterwards. And because there is, you know, on the other hand, let's, you know, get a balanced perspective here. If you are um, seriously overweight, where it is now a detriment to your health, then yes, you do need to pay attention to that and uh, do something about um, trying to lose that weight through diet and through exercise. And that's what I did initially when I had to deal with my own personal health issues and my excess weight that I was carrying. But now, that's not the case. It's, it's just a matter of cosmetics, right? Uh, give or take five or ten pounds here or there. And the fact is, is it's a lot nicer to be, you know, ten pounds lighter than ten pounds heavier. And, you know, I would be lying to you if I said it didn't matter at all, that I don't care. Of course I do. I'm just like everybody else. I, I live in a society that's obsessed with looks, being attractive, and a part of what society teaches us is attractive is being thin and toned. And, and so I'm caught up in the same kind of illusion as everybody else. And, you know, when somebody says to me, oh, it looks like you've lost weight. Well, I, I feel good when, when I hear that, and it kind of builds up my self-confidence. But if somebody were to say to me, you look like you've gained weight, I, it would just ruin my day. I, I mean, I'm no exception in that respect. But I like to pretend it doesn't matter. It's really important. And that's why I refuse to weigh myself. Because whether I'm 10 pounds heavier or 10 pounds lighter, I'm within a healthy weight range. And that's really all that matters. I mean, what really matters is that you are healthy and that you're happy. And, you know, the two kind of go hand in hand. Um, and how do you know if you're healthy? Well, I would suggest you, you should go to a doctor, get a complete physical, get your blood work done, and see where you actually stand in terms of your health. What's going on internally with your respiratory system, with your um, circulatory system, with everything going, you know, all your functions within. That's where it really matters because you can be thin on the outside and be dying. In fact, I, I have a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, same age as me, and he's thinner than I am. And he just had a foot of his colon removed from a, a malignant tumor. So, yeah, um, that's not, I mean, 
in terms of appearance, we, we like it, and when we go out and buy clothes, let's, let's be honest with you, you know, when you're, when you're carrying a few extra pounds and you try on new clothes and you look at yourself in the mirror in the change room and, you're, ah, you know, you, you kind of don't, it kind of takes the fun out of buying new clothes, but when you've lost that extra weight and you feel thin and you go buy, you know, you love going out and buying new clothes and, and you feel good, you feel more confident. So, yeah, there's, you know, I, I can't lie about that. It's more fun to be thinner um, purely on a superficial level, but it doesn't represent real health. And it certainly is not healthy to be preoccupied with weight loss, unless it is because for health reasons you need to lose weight. And then I would recommend doing it with uh, the help of a dietitian, somebody that can, you know, um, guide you along and get medical supervision while you're doing this as well. This is exactly what I did. I had a dietitian, I had my doctor, um, and, you know, getting regular blood tests, monitoring my progress uh, until I reached a healthy weight and I dealt with my own personal health issues. Um, and, you know, like another, I guess another reason for being preoccupied with your weight is if you're an athlete and you need to be within a certain weight range to compete, then of course you've got to pay attention to your weight, you've got to pay attention to what you eat and follow a very strict regimen. But for most of us, this is not necessary. I mean, um, really, and, 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 and you got to think, okay, you may want to have six-pack abs. You may want to be really thin and, you know, muscular as well, be nice and toned and ripped. You might want all that, but are you really willing to pay the price for it? And there is a price to pay. It's the time that you will, will have to put in to get there. And it's not enough to, you know, these models that you see do some pretty extreme things to get to where they are, to get their physiques to look the way they do so that they look great in a, in a photo shoot. And um, it's a lot of work to get six pack abs. So unless, you know, some of you are, there are some exceptions where you've got fantastic genes, but for pretty much everybody else, you're gonna have to put a lot of time in the gym and you're gonna really have to pay attention to, to what you're eating. Um, and I don't think, that doesn't necessarily represent health, but, if you really want to, if you're so intent on having that look, having that cosmetic appearance, then you've really got to put the time in. You're not going to get that way just by doing, you know, an hour workout in the morning time and uh, and just eating healthy. You, I mean, you'll look good, but you're not going to be like you're not going to have a model of appearance. Now, okay, if you're younger, you know, if you're in your early 20s uh, or mid 20s or whatever, or you're a teenager or whatever, it's easy to, you know, look good regardless, right? As long as you're active and you can almost eat anything and look pretty good. But as you get older, everything changes. And this is what I'm talking about here. Um, yeah, if you, so then, you know, if you really want to have that a uh, buffed look, you're going to have to put the time in, and most everybody can't put the time in because they have other responsibilities. Or, you know, you really don't want to put the time in. Let's be honest, like, you know, do you want to put hours a day into being preoccupied with trying to get this super buffed look um, when there's so much more to life than that, right? So, uh, that's, you know, that's why I don't make a big fuss about weight loss. What's important is that you're a healthy weight and that you're healthy internally, like all your organs and everything are functioning well, uh, that your blood is healthy, that, that, you know, this is what really matters at the end of the day. And, you know, if you're carrying a little pudge on your tummy and maybe you've got some uh, love handles on, on, on your backside there. Like, that's not necessarily the end of the world. It's when you start to get excessive weight that is a detriment to your health. That's when you need to be concerned. So, that being said, here is a before and after shot of what I look like before I was vegan and afterwards. 
Okay, so here's the before and after picture. This was me about a year before becoming vegan. I became vegan in, actually, late, I, I said in, in other videos I became a vegan in 2007. I actually became a vegan late 2006, just before 2007. So this was a year before that. Uh, look, look at the double chin there and the puffy face, um, not looking the greatest. Uh, gained a lot of weight and I actually got even heavier than that before, just before becoming a vegan. So what was I eating? It was an Atkins diet, lots of animal protein and animal fat, uh, low carbohydrate. Um, and then on top of that, I was drinking about four bottles of wine a week. And I also enjoyed uh, junk food like uh, barbecue peanuts. Um, you know, I could just go through a pound of barbecue peanuts with no problem. So, yeah, um, I had glucose intolerant, which is, you know, basically early stages of uh, type 2 diabetes. Um, I had arthritis in my elbows. Uh, what else? Um, slightly ele elevated cholesterol. Things were not going to get better if I hadn't made a change in my life. So a year later, I became vegan. And then once I adopted a high carbohydrate, low fat, plant-based diet, everything changed. And uh, so here I am today. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, before and after, this is the first time I've ever posted anything like this. And uh, But I thought you guys would find this interesting to see. So that's been the transformation in my life. I look older now, and I am a lot older now, actually. So, But I feel a hundred times younger. So that's it.